So pretty often we get questions about using the dynamometer with patients, especially ACL rehab and return to play. Sometimes it doesn't take technology, even though this is pretty basic technology. Sometimes it just takes a tweak to the screen to see where they're at and how far you can take their progression. So if we have an ACL patient, do a double leg hop test. So go ahead and double leg hop. Looks pretty good. Now if we go uninvolved, hop on your right foot. And we compare that to the left. So we see the amortization phase is different on the left than the right. So quicker rebound, shorter amortization phase, which means she is pronating and supinating more efficiently on the uninvolved, which means she's still having some difficulty with jogging and doing some easy plyo. So that test right there tells me that I don't even have to go this far to see what her strength ratios are because functionally, She's not able to progress, so it really doesn't matter what we find on a handheld dynamometer. So sometimes, shrink your thinking, think of function, do easy things that will tweak out amortization phase, and then you don't have to go to this.